Hello everyone. So today we are going to be taking a look at the cast iron plant. A little fun fact about the cast iron plant is that it was one of the original house plants grown in Victorian England. So there is some really cool history behind this plant and that is for a good reason. The cast iron plant is one of the easiest house plants to care for from my experience. Super prolific grower, very forgiving, and very easy to neglect, truthfully. So, so you may recognize this plant from my top five favorite house plants for beginners video. And I have the cast iron plant in that video, as I mentioned, because it's such an easy house plant to care for. So lighting requirements on your cast iron plant are going to be pretty straightforward. I would recommend a medium to bright and direct light situation. I wouldn't recommend putting your cast iron plant in any kind of direct light as that might scorch the foliage. And I would also take note of the fact that you're probably not going to have to water this plant a whole lot. It's relatively drought hardy. And I haven't noticed from my own growing experience that there are many obvious signs of dehydration that this plant displays. So if you think of the spathophyllum, how the leaves can droop, or how the spider plant turns a different color, or other signs of dehydration from other plants, I haven't really noticed that with the cast iron plant. So I would really recommend using a soil probe to, on your cast iron plant to check the level of moisture that you have inside of your pot. Although you can just stick your finger down into your soil or substrate and see how it's doing. Very prolific growers, um, and to aid in that growth and to supply the plant with energy. I use a 20-20-20 fertilizer diluted a quarter strength on my cast iron plant about once every two weeks or so. That seems to be a good regimen for this plant. It seems to be very happy. I haven't had any problems with it. The only thing I've noticed with the cast iron plant is that it tends to get some brown leaf edges. So you can see this is one of the leaves where I actually just snipped off that brown edge. And this could be due to um, a multitude of different factors. I'm not under the impression that the cast iron plant is very picky about humidity levels. It could be due to low humidity, but I'm doubtful. Or more likely, it could be due to any kind of fluoride or chlorine or other chemicals that are found in my water sources. So I would recommend using filtered or distilled water, ideally on your cast iron plant to avoid those brown edges. Um, but not a huge deal, not gonna be the end of the world, certainly if you use just tap water. I haven't noticed any pests on my cast iron plant, no spider mites or mealybugs or anything. Um, I have used neem oil on this plant and I can say that it's safe on there. So if you have noticed any kind of pests, just give it a good spray with neem oil and wipe down the foliage. Because of the large amount of foliage in this pot, I'm going to probably next time I need to water this, put it in the shower or in the sink and just hose down all that foliage to make sure there's no dust settled on it and that all the leaves are clean that way. I can maximize the amount of sunlight being absorbed by the leaf and give the plant more energy. But yeah guys, the cast iron plant is a good plant for beginners and it's very, very hardy, very fast grower as well, very prolific, it fills out very easily. So I would definitely get your hands on a cast iron plant if you can. They're very easy, as I mentioned. You can't do really much wrong to these guys as long as you're not overwatering them. Um, they should not give you any problem at all. So let me know if you guys have any questions on the cast iron plant, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.